Hi everyone and welcome to English acquiring from the beginner level to the advanced level and uh, English uh, discussion topics uh, to improve our English. Yes, we are going on on and on our English speaking studies, English speaking exercises. Yes, uh, can we speak English? Can we improve our speaking English? Yes, of course, it's possible if we do it without interruption and with a, uh, with a prepared, with a prepared material. Yes, for example, I have prepared uh, this uh, topic, this specific uh, topic, uh, to be able to to be able to speak English on it. Okay, it is as you see our topic today is a serious topic. Yes, crime and crime prevention, which has both uh, individual. Uh, personal and uh, social aspects, of course, uh, we are going to focus on especially subjective causes and objective causes of crime and crime prevention. Yes. Okay. Uh, legislation, execution and jurisdiction. Yes. These are uh, legal uh, legal uh, expressions. Okay. Now, dialogue one. Crime is a complex illegal action which must be punished by law. What happens if a banned activity is committed deliberately? As we don't say here, uh, activity is performed, not performed, uh, but committed. Yeah, committed deliberately. Of course, uh, it is punished by law. Yes, by law. Because it is against law. Now, crime and crime prevention part one. Yes, uh, the last part will be the summary at the end of the video. ChatGPT, will you please form a conversation out of this lesson presentation text between Nicole, Frank, Brenda, and Serdar in 120 words. Yes. Frank, the person who commits the crime could face legal consequences. Yes, as a result. Okay. Again, it's a matter of cause and consequence, cause and effect, cause and result. Let me read it from the beginning. The person who commits the crime could face legal consequences like fines or imprisonment, depending on the nature of the crime. Nicole. Unemployment, boredom, and rich poor divide and lack of security are some objective causes of crime. Can you think of other objective causes, Brenda? Social inequality and peer pressure can also drive people to commit crimes, can also make some people uh, to want, yeah, to want to commit, uh, commit crimes. Yes. Can also drive people to commit crimes, can also uh, can also make people want, yeah, make people want to commit crimes, make people, uh, make people will, make people prefer committing crimes. Ignorance, unkindness, and lack of love and lack of fondness, compassion are subjective causes of crime. Yeah, these are really important. Uh, Yes, what are the causes of crime, for example? This, 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 and this are the causes of uh, crime. Can you suggest other subjective causes? Personal grievances, mental health issues, and a sense of powerlessness can also be subjective causes of criminal behavior. 
having self-control and being hardworking are ways to prevent crime. What are some other subjective ways to prevent crime? Yes, earning money, earning money for example, instead of uh, getting it uh, by means of illegal ways, there are lots of innumerable ways to get money uh, by means of uh, legal and uh, right ways. Yes, such as having a strong desire to work, self-respect, self-management, and being emp empathic, empathetic is also the subjective ways uh, to prevent crime, of course, uh, there should be an awareness about them. What are the causes of crime? Yes, what are they? What are they? What are the causes of crime? Okay, as subjective and objective. Unemployment, boredom, rich poor divide, lack of security might be. Of course, it's a theory that it's an opinion. It may be or may not be. What might be the objective, physical, visible causes of crime? What else might be the objective causes of crime? Ignorance, unkindness, lack of love and fondness may be the subjective causes of crime. What may the other subjective causes of crime? Yes, we can think of many other subjective subjective causes. Okay, the theories and causes of crime as an idea, we can find a lot of uh, ideas, yes, causes of subjective causes of crime. Target, desire, and opportunity. Having the sense of self-control and being hardworking are the subjective ways of preventing crime. Yes. Yes, because this is a practice of uh, speaking or being able to speak English, we can, uh, we can uh, consider them, we can study them together along with each other as the crime and crime prevention. Yes. What must be other subjective ways of preventing crime? Yes, just like the example sentence, uh, having a desire to work, yes, uh, must be, yes, must be, must be, uh, must be the other subjective way of preventing crime. Having self-respect, yes, must be, might be, might be the other uh, subjective way of preventing. So these are all uh, subjective ways of preventing crime. Yes, self-management, for example. Having self-management, having self-management uh, must be uh, another, another subjective ways of preventing crime. Being tender-hearted, yes, having a compassion, having mercy in heart, being tender-hearted uh, may also be the other subjective way of preventing crime. An underground organization is a secret, illegal, and criminal group. What is an underground prison? Yes, in the past especially, they call it dungeon. So an underground prison is a dungeon. Okay, is the place where prisoners are kept. Your children need your presence more than your presence. Excellent, a yeah, nice motto. Let me read it again. Your children need your presence more than your present presence gifts. So they need your parental, parental involvement. Now as a grand, uh, as a grandfather, I may say they need my uh, grand parental involvement in their life. Okay. If a parent sets a good example, if a parent can be a good example, 
Yeah. If a parent sets a good example for his or her children, then they can expect them to refrain from crimes. Yes, if they do such a good thing, yes, such a good thing, that good thing, it means that as a seed, it will grow and it will uh, flourish and it will give its fruits. What else can be done to reduce the crime rate? Yes, uh, parental and grandparental involvement uh, uh, can, uh, can also reduce the crime rate. Of course, all good things uh, starts at home, like charity starts at home and uh, honesty starts at home, prudence starts at home. Being a down-to-earth person yes, starts at home. A parent can set an example by playing his or her taxes regularly. How else can a parent set a good example to their children? Okay, uh, let me read the image before presenting the answer uh, to the question uh, or before uh, thinking of uh, an answer to the question. The uh, image says, you do not pay the price of success. Then what? If we do not pay the price of success, then what do we pay? Okay. You do not pay the price of success. You enjoy the price of success. Mm, it comes. Ah, yeah, bingo. Aha. Yes, it comes within, within the success. So success matters. Let me read it again. You do not pay the price of success. You enjoy the price of success. Okay, now question was this, how else can a parent set a good example to their children? Of course, always telling the truth, always telling the truth, a parent can set, can be, can be a good example to their children. Of course, lots of sentences can be made. A defense lawyer is a professional who speaks for the accused, for the suspects, and advises them. Who is the professional who decides how a criminal should be punished? Of course, a judge is the, is the professional who decides how a criminal should be punished, of course, with the collaboration, uh, with the consultation of a jury. Now, uh, a day in the life of a court reporter. What does a court reporter do? Is there a question like this? What does a court reporter do? Okay, let's see. A, ju a jury, jury is a group of people in, in court who decide whether somebody is innocent or guilty. Who is a witness? Witness is the person who claims, who says that he or she has witnessed, has seen, has uh, observed, observed uh, the, uh, the illegal action while it was, it was being committed. Okay. What does a court reporter do? Of course, a court reporter reports reports uh, the uh, speeches, uh, the, the, the situation uh, in a court. Yeah. Attends, yeah, a court reporter attends hearings, depo depositions, proceedings, and other types of events that need a written transcript. Yes, he, he wrote a written transcript, a written report. Provide the court legal counsels and involve parties with uh, with copies of their trans transcriptions uh, use a, a court reporter uses specialized stenography machines microphones recording devices auto audio and video equipment visual equipment okay
This is what a court reporter does. Okay, uh, let me read the image first before uh, presenting the uh, dialogue. Peace and justice are peace and justice are two sides of the same coin. Yes, excellent. Really, I accept this idea. I confirm this idea. For example, if a person is intellectually, emotionally, and ethically in a peace, then it uh, it it lives a just uh, life. Okay, so it means that there is justice in his or her life. So if there is justice in a person's life, it means that he or she is in peace, in a peace of she, he or she, or they have, they have a peace of mind. They have the peace of mind. The court is the place where justice is administered. Yeah. The court is the place where justice is distributed, yeah, also possible, is administered, administered. Who administers justice, especially the judge and the jury? Of course, all the police force uh, also, uh, they also, the police force also uh, administers, administer justice. Okay. Is justice an ideal or a reality for all people? Yes, it's an ideal that should be realized. I think I can answer like this. Uh, justice is an ideal that uh, should be realized, actualized. We need it. Every single of us need justice. Low justice education and human qualities are the true sources to make people feel safe and secure. How can those pure sources come into our life? Low, how can low justice, education, and human qualities come into our life? Of course, by being by being aware of the importance of them and by uh, spending uh, effort, uh, diligence, to actualize them uh, by taking them uh, extremely serious, uh, seriously, uh, they can uh, they can uh, they can come into our life. It is not so difficult. It is not so complex. It is so simple to guide active verb and to be guided passive yes to guide somebody to be guided by some somebody or someone else how and why we use guiding principles okay integrity at every step of life yes we need integrity at every step of life every moment it means that every moment we need dignity and integrity we need knowledge uh, we need knowledge and compassion uh, and uh, virtue yes virtue uh, and justice at every step at every step of life okay public need guiding public need guiding to solve problems who should guide them of course, those intellectuals, uh, those enlightened people, uh, those philosophers, those thinkers uh, should guide them. Those especially just leaders, yeah, just leaders and diplomatic people should guide people. Then every problem will be solved. Better lux, better street lighting, maybe some objective ways of preventing crime. What other objective ways of preventing crime can you suggest? Yes, I can easily suggest that. Not keeping cash in the house is also a way of preventing crime. 
Yes, being proactive by being proactive. For example, not telling people you are away can also uh, can also uh, can also another way of uh, preventing crime. Or I can uh, I can suggest that I can suggest that uh, walking alone, uh, not walking alone in dangerous places. Let me change it like places. Uh, what was the question? Uh, what other subjective ways of preventing crime can you suggest? I can also suggest uh, not walking alone in dangerous places uh, as a way, as an objective way of preventing crime. As, as an objective way of preventing crimes. Yes. Uh, for example, I can also I can also suggest uh, suggest uh, telling somebody where uh, we are, where we are, uh, as an objective way of preventing crime. Yes, carrying an alarm, for example, uh, in our car or in our house, carrying an alarm. Uh, is also another way of preventing crime, or I can suggest as another way, as another way of preventing crime. A kidnapper, yes, a kidnapper is a criminal. In fact, a kid kidnapper is someone who takes a person by force and demands ransom in order to set them free. So who damages other people's property on purpose? Who? Who is uh, who is that person? Let's put question here. Who damages other people's uh, property on purpose? Of course, do you remember? Vandals uh, in the historic vandalism. There was vandalism in the north part of Europe. Yes, uh, like those vandals. A vandal today it is also used because of that uh, historical historical uh, memory, negative memory. Who damages other people's property on purpose? A vandal. Vandal, of course, damages other people's property on purpose, yes. A vandal is a criminal who damages other people's property on purpose. Which criminal attacks people in the street in order to steal money, steal something? Yeah, is this a way of earning money? Of course not. It is illegal, it is unethical, it is, yes, not logical, it is wrong, okay. So, uh, who is that criminal? Uh, that kind of criminal is called is called mug, mugger, as you know. Yes, uh, which a mugger attacks people. Yeah, attacks people in the street in order to steal their bag or their uh, belongings. Okay, an open window is an open invitation. Yeah, like a motto. An open window is an open invitation to burglars. What else is also an open invitation to burglars? Yes, leaving your, uh, leaving your, uh, or leaving some uh, post boxes, for example, leaving some po post boxes out of your house is also an open invitation for days for a long time is also an open invitation to burglars would you like to invite a burglar in your home why of course no because uh, they don't worth being invited uh, they uh, they are not suitable they don't deserve to be a guest okay who would you like to invite in your home? For example, I would like to invite my best friend in my home, all my friends. I would like to invite all my friends 
uh, in my home because I know them. I know that they uh, they will give no harm to me. I know that we will have a pleasant time with them. Okay. Why does it? What does it? Sorry. What does it signify? What does it signify? We will say that it signifies that, or it signifies this, that. Okay. Living a light on, not off, on. Living a light on makes a burglar believe that. You are in, you are not absent. Which one is effective? Leaving a light on in the hall or in the sitting room, why? Yes, of course, leaving, uh, leaving, uh, leaving the light on in the sitting room is more effective because it signifies again, it signifies that uh, it is the sign of uh, it is it is the sign of uh, your presence it signifies that you are in the sitting room now chat gpt is a chat or conversation between brenda frank nicole and serdar brenda for an individual it plays an important role to have known what to want and act accordingly. Yes, this is really important. It's a really useful standard principle. Let me read it once more. For an individual, it plays an important role to have known beforehand what to want and act accordingly. How does seeing a good example play a role in life in general? Of course, it plays an excellent role in life in general. Seeing a good example, yeah. So immediately a family life comes uh, to our mind. To reduce the crime rate, setting a good example as a parent is essential. What else can be done besides setting a good example? Yeah, besides setting a good example, Parents can teach their children the importance of paying taxes regularly and contributing to society. Prudence also starts at home, right? Of course, prudence also starts at home if family men, or if parents uh, are prudent, they speak prudently, they do something prudently, and they have prudence so prudence starts also starts at home like all the other good qualities a defense lawyer represents the accused but who decides how a criminal should be punished nicole judges and juries judges and juries in a court of law determine decide yes the appropriate punishment for a criminal. A jury is a group of people in a court who decide innocence or guilt. What does a court reporter do? Uh, yes, a court reporter uh, writes the report of the uh, of the session, sessions in a court. Yes, he, also, uh, he or she also provides some documents uh, documents uh, for the uh, judges and lawyers. Okay. Okay, this is all for today and see you in the next video. Bye for now and have a good day.